Well, here is me trying to beat Pokemon Yellow for the first time since February 18th, 2019 as I did a game where I randomized all the encounters and all that. I tried to stream this just now, but three times when I set up the stream, the thing would not load up for me to let go, check it, the settings, publish it, or anything. I tried three times. Would not work. So I'm forced to film instead. Very annoying. So anyways, I've done this game for like the last month or so. As there is a team, the starter Raichu, which you see, no speed, but pretty good. Everything else, especially that attack. Not going to be able to really use it that much, though. Thundershock, I, I think it was like 65 power, I believe it was. Mega Punch is 95 power, because I looked that up earlier when I was teaching the moves. Double Team and Thunder Wave. And then Gloom, oh my god. Gloom, I kind of think I should have kept it as an oddish because that thing was just destroying everyone. Terrible attack, but pretty solid in every other category. Absorb is like 130 power, which is incredible. Acid, I believe, is like 90 power. And then Stun Spore and Sleep Power. I think Stun Spore was 100% accurate. Sleep Power, I can't remember off the top of my head. And Vile Plume wasn't really that good, so that's why I kept his Gloom. And then Golbat, the last catch in the series, it's special, is dog shit very fast very defensive and <laughs> look at this move set strength which is 90 power confused right i have no idea what the stats are off the top of my head fly which is 130 power i believe in 90 actually and yes surf because i made so everyone can learn hm moves so i didn't feel like having to have like an hm slave around that was 90 power i believe but unfortunately go back special is Terrible, so it's not really usable. And then, Gold Duck, which was the first catch in the series. Oh my god, it took forever for it to be useful. A shit ton of attack. Um, really good special. No defense, though, unfortunately. Bubble Beam, which is really good. Ice Beam, which is, I believe it was a little bit weaker. Dig, weaker, I think, but still good. And then Cut, which was actually, I believe, like 80 power or something like that. And of course, you can't get rid of HMs at the time, so that's why I kept it still. And then Arcanine, pretty balanced, but terrible deep. Well, not terrible defense, but not really the best defense. Special, not as good either. Strength, Leer, Fire Blast, which I don't think is as good as normal. And then, yeah, Fly. Since I got Fly, hey, need someone to learn because I didn't have Gold Bat at the time. And why not? <laughs> it is a legendary Pokemon, as Longneck said to me while I was thinking of teaching Fly. And then finally, Licking Tongue. I think this might be the first time possibly of using the Elite Four as a lot of attack, but that's all it has really, just attack. But man, you know in this game how broken rap was, if you all remember, my um last time I beat Yellow, that LGPE reference where I had the two Eevee and I think it was a Dragonair, but all three of them had rap. How powerful this is in this game, it's broken here too. Body Slam is broken really good. Earthquake, I believe it's around the same water gun, I think it's like 80 power. So Let's get into it. This is actually the fourth time, too, I've beat... Well, I haven't beaten Yellow yet on this game, but this will be the fourth time I try to do it on YouTube. Remember my Yellow playthrough that I finished back around Christmas of 2016? Then my Yellow Nuzlocke of, like, May 2018, I believe it was? Then the LGPE game I did February of last year, and now this. And here we go, I forgot to set up for the encounter, but hey, good thing I have Raichu up front. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, this is sad. Missing twice in a row and using rest twice in a row for no reason. That was stupid. And that's even sad. Raichu's pulling a die to start things off. Why would you use rest at full health? Even by the AI, I mean AI's logic back then, that, that would be still dumb. And I hope... Oh god, I remember Cloyster calls me props earlier. So I hope it's not going to cause problems here. And I hope my volume isn't broken or anything like that because I'm looking at the OBS sense and every time I'm talking, a whole bunch of reds popping up so I hope it's not like too loud or anything. And damn it, Cloyster held on. Then again, like I said, I think Raichu we saw had more attack than special. So Thundershock is probably not even strongest move, even with Stab. Alright, Slowbro, let's see, can I... Yeah, I might take this risk and switch out the Gloom. Alright, Gloom. Absorb. Oh, God. That's bad, too, because Psyche is 140 power in this game. I wanted to teach it to someone, but I can't because no one can learn it. 
Oh god, Gloom's in trouble! God damn it, Slowbro had, Slow had to be faster. This might actually get all the HP back, though, maybe. Yeah! I don't know about all the HP, but it's gonna get a good lot of it back. Oh my- Oh my goodness! It did get all the HP back! Wow! Even I didn't think that would happen. Oh my goodness! Now, Arcanine would not be good, actually, against Jinx. Yeah, a fire type actually not good against the item because uh, its special is not good and fire blast I don't think is a really good move. So, Lick and Tongue's wrap will be more useful here. Frash, obviously, the fact that Frash did that little damage means either two things. Frash is weak or Jinx's attack is bad because Lick and Tongue has like no defense so that should be easily taken down probably. I believe this is Lorelei's last one too. Hydro Pump, I believe, was good still. And by... Well, Lapras held on. And of course, Rap being broken, of course. In a good way. And there we go. Lorelei down. One left. I mean, one down, four to go. Alright, so, Bruno. Starts off, if I remember correctly, Onyx. Yeah, he has to start with Onyx. I just went through these games the last year or so for my own role play series, which I need to get back to. I only got to Black... I mean, I'm white too, I still gotta do that. And then possibly XY, or Ross, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, to wrap it up. Hard to believe I've been doing that for a year now, I'm still not done. And of course, starts off with Onyx, which that will be a one shot. If it isn't, I'll be stunned. No HP, I see. And I did randomize stats, I always, ra I always randomize stats in my games to make it more interesting. Alright, hit my chan. Let's see what Golbat can do. Really good for Fly. So, oh my god, thank god that missed. Because Fly, like I said, with Stab, that's a 200... No, actually, I think it's a 195 power move. But still, that's really powerful. Come on, Lee. There we go. I never picked up the um either one of them when I took care of the Dojo. So I have no idea what their stats will be. But Hitmonchan got one shot. Pokemon is so easy. Well, Onyx... Uh, you know what? For the lows, let's see, Golbat, you gotta take out the Onyx. Even with your terrible special and Surf not be as good, you should be able to take this out. And good, at least you didn't completely disappoint me. Machamp, keep you out. And just go for another fly. Boot it up! <laughs> well, actually, who knows? Maybe that X defend will be useful. Not a lot of HP. Ah, shit. It another X defend? Are you serious? Oh, just fly again. That should be enough, hopefully. Yes, just enough. I bet if it had half HP, it probably would not have been enough. Alright, Agatha. She starts off again with, I believe, um, Haunter. So, Gold Duck will be the best bet with Dig. Uh, it is nice to actually... Do a game as myself again. It's been a while since, like I said, I've been doing that roleplay series. I've beaten... I actually beat Yellow back around this time November last year, but of course that was a roleplay, so I didn't count it. And, oh, Gengar starts off with... Well, enjoy your one-shot, hopefully, because Golduck can hit hard. Oh, God, hit first. Golduck doesn't have a lot of good special. Oh, wow, did nothing. So Gengar must be terrible special, and Mega Drain must be terrible as well. And bye bye bye, Gengar. You're not gonna survive Golduck's attack. Golbat. All right. Um, Licky Tong. How about you go out again against that Golbat? I had Toxic, but I didn't use. It. I did look up its actually, but I was sure it wasn't good, so that's why I didn't bother with it. And damn it, had to land on Licky Tong. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to get you out very soon. But at least you'll take care of Golbat, or at least you should. Oh man. You kidding me? Well, at least tack broken, so couldn't hurt me. Haunter, of course, that's not gonna do anything. I'm pretty sure everyone had a turn, except maybe Arcanine. But um Gold I mean Gold Duck out you go, as you have the advantage against everyone here now. You actually had the advantage against everyone with the um ice beam, but I don't think it would have been enough on Gold Bat, and down you go, Haunter. Effortlessly. And there we go. Arbok. Mm-hmm. Well, 
Bye bye again. Another one shot. Or so I fought. Acid. That could hurt. I have no idea what R box stacks are. Okay, it did nothing. Another dig. And down you go. As Gengar again. Oh god, like I said, Psychic's really, really, really good in this game. Might be one of the best Psychics I think I've ever seen. But thankfully didn't do anything. Oh god, lowered special. Why would you Dream Eater? You hit those first, you stupid bitch. And there we go. Just two left. So now. I think this is the first time I had to heal anyone up in this game. Off to, this is a really good start for me. Yeah, Gold Duck staying out there since you have Ice Beam and all that. We are getting there on the verge of being Kanto's champ again. Where are you? There you are, Lance. Now to take you on. Oh, here we go, Garrett. Oh, so that's right, I forgot. You saw what Garrett should have had Raichu out instead. Oh well. Gold Duck will do just fine, especially with Cut. Okay, you're obviously very defensive. That's not necessarily good. <laughs> oh my god! Hyper Beam has terrible action in this game. Oh my god, you held on, and of course you did the Hyper Beam now. Regression to the mean usually means Hyper Beam's gonna be weak. Oh my god, that's a good-ass Hyper Beam and a crit, too! Alright, Gyarados down. Hey, there we go, Gold Duck got the 59 and learned Hydro Pump. But no, because Bubble Beam is really good, so I'm not going to take the risk. And I have the, the thing up, I'm not going to look it up. Because I have to load up in the background. Here we go, I... Oh my god, Thunderbolt, if I'm correct, is good. I have no idea what Dragonair stats are. Gold Duck could be... Okay, good, held on. Hang in there, Golduck! And a one-shot! But not in the best spot right here. Oh god, Rap's bad! Rap's good, remember? And Golduck went down. That isn't good. Shit, I forgot. Dig. It's still in effect. Alright, try and fly. Oh good, got hit off first. Oh god, you have Bubble Beam. That's not good. Shit, hell- Oh god, Arcanine's gonna be doomed! Okay, good. Didn't do anything. I guess your special is really bad, huh, Dragonair? Aerodactyl. Arcanine, out you go. And... We'll throw Raichu out there. Go for Thundershock. And... Ah! Oh, Swift. That is not good in this game, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that was dog shit. I think it was like 35 power or something like that. Dragon Knight. So we'll throw Arcanine back out there. I actually have Dragon Knight, or one of my later, earlier catches too. It didn't really have a lot of good stats though, so hopefully this won't be too hard. Hyper Beam, of course. That's the fourth Hyper Beam that you missed. Oh, there you go, land that time. Well, free turn, but of course that didn't do anything. See, yep, Hyper Beam didn't do shit, because if I remember correctly, yeah, Dr Dragonite didn't really have a lot of attack. Alright. Leer again. Ah! Why bar doing that? Uh oh, I gotta watch out though. I think Thunder raises accuracy with Fly. Didn't do that much. Oh, free turn. I could probably finish you off with strength. Oh! Damn it, really? Arcanine, you had to pull a die again. Come on. Ouch. Thunder, I think, was good, actually. Ouch. That's a hard hit. All right, Fly, hope you don't do Thunder. Oh, thank God you missed. And there we... Shit! Held on. Are you kidding me? All right, there we go. Dragonite... Yeah, I'm finally Dragonite down. Only thing left now is blue. Yep, we're gonna see if I can do it. Be Kanto's champ again. It took that long in this um, game for someone to get knocked out. 
That's a long... I, that might have been like one of the longest ever. I don't think I've ever gotten anywhere close to that. So, we'll start off with Raichu. And I lost him in the first battle at Oak's Lab, so he has the Flareon team. Yeah, here we go. Well, not the most powerful trainer in the world, you're just the most powerful in Kanto. So, not the world. Uh, I was thinking of the Pidgeot on Red and Blue, so bad choice. And unfortunately, Sand Slash in a lot of my games usually is really good! Oh my god, I had to have the speed advantage too, that's not good. Pikachu could be in me, Raichu could be tr- Oh my god, that did nothing- Raichu, you messing- Come on! Well, send Golbat out there. At least I don't have to worry about Earthquake now. Oh, you fucking probably called the switch. And of course, Fury Swipes ain't doing crap even with four hits. Surf's not going to do anything either, so I don't know why I bothered. Would be more effective to do Fly, because look at that. Yeah, not much for a super effective move. Slash is very bad in this game, obviously. Or or maybe um, Sand Slash has no attack. Because, I mean, see, Sl Fury Swipes ain't doing anything. Slash wasn't doing anything. Damn it, Golbat, come on! Everyone's missing this battle so far! There we go, finally. Hey, 59 for Raichu. Good fare. Alakazam. That could be a little bit of a problem, so let's try and wrap you up, Alakazam. I actually tried to catch an Abra multiple times in this game, but it kept breaking out when I tried to catch him, so I couldn't get one. And Alakazam got one shot! I guess you have no defense! Jesus! That was terrible! Executor. Go bad, already had a go. Let's give Gloom a go. I don't think it has a psychic move. There we go. Acid, that's not gonna do as much though. Because terrible attack for Gloom. Oh my oh, that did a good amount actually. Uh, I think it might have Dreamier too, so switch out for Arcanine. Oh my god, did Hypnosis again? You dumb fuck, you were gonna do Hypnosis again on Gloom, who's already asleep then. Unfortunately, I can't do anything till you wake up. Stomp's good, unfortunately. Very good, got a crit. Dude, stomp, you dumb shit. Lie. Arcanine! What are you doing? You keep missing a 90% accurate move. You're missing all over the place tonight. Unfortunately, I think critical hits keep coming when they're critical hit one time. And great, Arcanine went down. Are you kidding me? All right, Licky Tongue, you ain't failing me so far tonight. Bam! Man, Blue is giving me some problems. Magneton, time, if I remember correctly, was really good earlier. It caused me a lot of problems, so hopefully this Earthquake will finish you off. Yeah, there are many Pokemon with the randomizer that they benefit very well. Magneton usually is one of them. Oh god, Cloyster again. Uh, Guess give a Sleeping Gloom a go. A uh, roar beam, that's gonna be problems. Oh my god. Oh, good, he woke up, but the problem is you're gonna have the speed disadvantage. Unfortunately, ice beam's still good. And unfortunately, got taken down. Alright, let's see. We gotta watch out for that two roar beams. Oh god, the ice beam on Golbat. That's gonna hurt. Oh my god. Knockout, are you kidding me? Jesus Christ! You're an idiot. You know that? Why would you do Spike Can when Ice Beam you see is doing much more damage? Plus, if I remember correctly, I think Lickitung had worse special than a defense. So we'll have done even more damage too. Now I got you wrapped up. How about that? Alright, last up, Flareon. So, let's have my hard hitting Golduck out to finish you off. Dig, ah, oh, got quick attack. That is not, yeah, it's not good in this game. 
And did you actually do quick attack when I was underground? That was really dumb. Oh, fuck. Held on. There we go. Finish you off with a bubble beam. And there we go. For the first time since February 18th of 2019, I beat Yellow. The fourth time I beat on YouTube. And Blue actually gave me quite a hassle, I'll have to say that. Since everyone else pretty much just plowed right through. How fair for Blue to give me a challenge for once. And it sucks I couldn't um, stream this, but of course, YouTube being a dick, I had to film instead. And good timing too, because Rams of Buccaneers are about to start, so I'm going to have to render this really, I mean, upload it really quickly. So you can all watch me beat the Elite Four again. Alright, here we go, into the Hall of Fame list. So I can update again. Thank you, Raichu, my starter. Kind of disappointed with all the moves missed earlier at the beginning. Thank you, Golduck. Really good. Very impressive. You were terrible as a Psyduck, but after once you got a move, you got better. Thank you, Golbat. Kind of disappointed. I don't know, you kind of came clutch at some moments, but you're still disappointed. Thank you, Gloom. That Mazin on Onyx, that was crazy. I think it was Onyx I did that Absorb on. Thank you, Arcanine. You were pulling the die a lot, so that was disappointing. Plus, your Fire Blast was dog shit. And finally, thank you, Licky Tongue. Honestly, you probably have to be the MVP because your rap saved me a lot of times. That's the only reason why you were on the Elite Four team. Because of how broken rap is back then. Wow, I saw almost the entire Dex. Incredible. But of course, back then, that didn't matter. You had to catch them in order for it to count. Alright, so that'll wrap up this game. So see you guys next time as I beat Yellow for the fourth time now on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed.